In this video, I want to show you how to edit a lot faster in Final Cut Pro using proxy media. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro and over here you want to go ahead and just click on the Final Cut Pro thing and go over to preferences. Once you're in preferences, no matter where you are, you want to head over to import. Once you're in the import section, you want to head down to transcoding and click the check mark that says proxy media or click the box that says create proxy media. So again, make sure to go up here, Final Cut Pro, click on preferences, head over to the import section and check the box that says create proxy media. Basically what this allows you to do is it allows you to edit really high resolution footage or maybe you have like 20 gigabytes of footage or maybe you're just editing a 4K video. It allows you to edit these big files a lot faster especially when you have like cheaper computers or you don't have super expensive high quality computers so let's say for example this is my short film folder it's in 4k at 24 frames per second I have some clips of my short film quarantine short film highly encourage you to go ahead and check it out I, I personally really enjoyed making that film so let's say for example I'll go ahead and just grab uh, some videos Remember to hold down command and click on the next thing and just keep holding down command until you have all your clips in. And also you can also just go over to here, transcoding, create proxy media. Once you then you want to go ahead and click click import selected. As you can see, this folder is in 4K and these videos are also in 4K. So let's go ahead and hold down command and just import the clips. Basically what proxy media allows you to do in the simplest form, it's definitely very difficult to explain or really quite understand what it really is. Basically in the simplified definition of what proxy media, what it does, is it basically is showing you this preview, a very compressed, not very high resolution preview. Therefore, you can edit really big files a lot faster because it's just showing you a compressed preview. You can just edit big files, 4K files, 8K files. A lot faster but once you go up here to the export section export in h.264 it goes back this this um, preview over here goes back to its normal high res a high resolution and just looks like a normal video basically what proxy media does and if you if you're still confused definitely go ahead and comment some questions down below and I'll try to answer but the simplified definition is this is gonna be a compressed low res preview so you can edit the big files a lot faster without like the whole program lagging out on you once you export the video it goes back to its normal high resolutions uncompressed video bottom line it allows you to edit really high resolution videos if you have a cheaper computer or your computer isn't super fast so the bottom line is what's the catch there is no catch just go over to Final Cut Pro preferences, the import section, and head over to create proxy media. There is no catch. It is a, it's just a must. You have you. It's a really good to create proxy media because there's no there's no catch. There's no reason why you shouldn't go into proxy media. You can edit, especially if you don't have a super expensive computer. If you have a cheaper computer, you can just edit your videos really much fast, really fast, much faster. And just just overall just increases your speed and makes your video just a whole lot better and you just your program isn't crashing overall highly encourage you to uh switch your transcoding to create proxy media hopefully you really enjoyed this video make sure to hit that subscribe button i'll be giving away a google home mini once i reach 1000 subscribers hope you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe to the channel i upload final cut pro tutorials almost every single day at least three or four uh, tutorials a week so if you enjoy final cut pro tutorials definitely go ahead hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next one peace